You must all have heard in the news about hackers breaching various social media websites and stealing the data of millions of account holders. These hackers collect all this data and later sell it on the dark web, earning millions of dollars against it. But what is this dark web? How is it different from the normal internet? And how is it responsible for various cyber crimes across the globe? We will try to understand all these topics in today's video. Welcome to Wealthy Mindset, where we explore unique and breathtaking angles from the world of money, economics, personal finance, and investing. But before we dive into it, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, click on the bell icon right there so you never miss any of our subsequent videos. Do you know, the internet we use every day is just 4% of the whole internet world? The internet that we use is the surface web, or open web, which is the tip of the iceberg. The open web generally has all the publicly available domains like your Google, Facebook, and YouTube, which are accessible through Chrome, Firefox, or Internet Explorer. The open web is easily accessible because of its registered labels and domains. We also have the deep web, which is 90% of the internet that floats below the surface area of the web. To access that portion of the internet, we need to have a specific configuration, software, and authority. The dark web allows you to work anonymously. The area which requires identification and a password to enter is the world of the deep web. In common terms, we can say the deep web generally includes all intranet connections between an organization and publicly or privately held files that are not available on open surfaces. It is very hard to detect those websites which are working inside the deep web. Inside the deep web, we have the dark net, which is part of that 90% of the web. In very simple terms, if you explain if any web page is unidentifiable by your search engines, then it is the deep web. Have you ever noticed redesigning web pages or pages which are under construction? Those are generally part of the deep web. These web pages are generally clean and pose no risk or threat. For your reference, you guys can have a look over the Tor network, which is one of the sources of the dark web that passes through various levels of encryption to protect your information on the internet. Tor was developed in the early 2000s by computer scientists Roger Dingledine and Nick Mathewson for the United Naval Research Laboratory, which they later made for public use. It allows users to access those websites which have .onion domain names. Tor creates three layers for passing any information and creates encryption for every layer, which makes it difficult to identify the user. Looking at the peak of the dark web crimes, Tor acted as a better alternative to make an anonymous identity. For most US agencies, it meant that the more users, the more difficult it will be to get hacked. The deep web provides anonymity and privacy from the government authorities, and its parallels to it. The deep web is a major place for sophisticated criminals, drug trafficking, child pornography, and stolen identities. In your case, it won't be possible to access the dark web through Google Chrome. This feature of keeping identity anonymous is the major reason why Darknet is the favorite place for hackers and drug mafias to make deals worth millions. Here people do every possible illegal activity without any fear of getting caught. The scale of the deep web is so big that research done by the University of California in the year 2001 found that the dark web has almost 7.5 petabytes of information, which increased to 91,000 petabytes in the next two years. All this data is stored in some underdeveloped countries where the law is either very weak or where it is hard to access information. The Silk Road was one of the famous black market websites where drugs, weapons, and child pornography were traded overseas. The site was founded by Ross Ulbricht, who was sentenced to life imprisonment after two years of its launch. Similar to Silk Road, the dark web has other source websites like Agora, Alphabay, or Dream, which provide the same services. The dark web is one of the major sources from where extremists operate, entails propaganda, and makes communication with each other. The dark web has been used by several media houses and activists to spread the news and information during restrictions. Several whistleblowers also use the same platform to leak crucial information and uncover the truth. The dark web has several plus points in today's time where people can make themselves anonymous and leak dangerous tips to the world. It would be good to say that shutting down the dark web or implementing restrictions on the dark web can increase criminal activity more and remove the place for social benefits. Please help us in identifying the major pros and cons of the dark web. If you enjoyed this video, slap a like on it and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with the latest business trends and interesting facts. You can also turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss any of our mind-blowing videos. We'll catch you in the next one.